Let's journey back to 2017, a year that marked the end of one of humanity's most ambitious interplanetary missions. NASA's Cassini spacecraft, after 13 years exploring Saturn and its moons, was about to make its final descent. Over its long mission, Cassini revealed the intricate structure of Saturn's rings, mapped Titan's methane lakes, and discovered Enceladus's hidden ocean, transforming our understanding of the Saturnian system. But with its fuel nearly gone, Cassini's mission had to end. The decision was made to protect Saturn's moons from possible contamination, preserving them for future exploration and the search for life. The plan was bold, a final dramatic plunge into Saturn itself, a maneuver known as the Grand Finale. For its last orbits, Cassini dove repeatedly between Saturn and its rings, threading the gap and sampling the planet's upper atmosphere in ways never attempted before. It measured Saturn's atmosphere and magnetic field directly for the first time, sending back data that would keep scientists busy for years. On September 15, 2017, Cassini sent its final signal as it descended into Saturn's clouds, its instruments transmitting precious data until the very last second. With Cassini gone, Saturn's orbit was silent. We thought the story was over, but the final data Cassini sent back to Earth held a secret, a mystery we didn't yet understand, hidden in the torrent of information. Cassini's legacy was already secure. It had rewritten textbooks, changed what we teach about Saturn, and inspired countless students and scientists. Scientists celebrated, published their findings, and moved on to new missions, confident that Cassini's story was complete. But science is always evolving, and sometimes the biggest discoveries come long after the mission ends. Cassini's last transmission was a stream of raw data, pressure, temperature, and plasma density readings, as the spacecraft was torn apart by Saturn's atmosphere. The data seemed to confirm our models of gas giant atmospheres matching predictions and reinforcing what we thought we knew. For years, this final dataset was considered a closed case, filed away as another triumph of planetary science. But sometimes, the universe hides its secrets in plain sight. Hidden in that chaotic noise was a faint rhythmic pulse, waiting for a new kind of mind and new technology to find it. The end of Cassini's flight was just the beginning of a new chapter in our exploration of Saturn and its mysteries. We had missed something extraordinary, something that would challenge our understanding of the planet. The clues were there, buried in the static, waiting for someone to look again with fresh eyes. All it took was a new way of seeing, and the story of Cassini was far from over. Fast forward to 2025. The world is now shaped by technology that was once the stuff of science fiction, and the boundaries of discovery are being redrawn every day. Data analysis has been revolutionized by quantum-assisted AI, tools that can find patterns invisible to humans. These machines process information at speeds and depths that were unimaginable just a decade ago. A Caltech team unleashed this AI on the entire Cassini archive, from first orbit to last signal. Their mission, to see what secrets might have slipped through the cracks of human perception. The goal, what did we miss? What stories were hidden in the noise, waiting for a new kind of mind to find them? The AI processed 13 years of data in weeks. Images, magnetometer readings, plasma waves, radio signals. Every bite was scrutinized, every anomaly flagged for review. It found a few new moons but nothing earth-shattering, until it analyzed Cassini's final plunge. That's when things changed. Deep in the noise, the AI flagged an anomaly, a structured repeating pattern. It was subtle, almost lost in the chaos. Too orderly for natural turbulence, too faint for previous tools, it was as if the data itself was whispering a secret, just out of reach. The team was skeptical, but conventional methods couldn't replicate the result. The anomaly persisted, defying explanation. Only the advanced AI could see it. Its algorithms cut through the static, revealing what human eyes had missed. The discovery sent shockwaves through the science community. Suddenly, everyone wanted to know what the AI had found. It was like finding a hidden message in static, a signal buried in the noise, waiting for the right listener. The data had been there for years, but we lacked the perspective to see it. Now, with new eyes, the past was transformed. The AI acted as a translator, finding a ghost in the machine, a whisper from Saturn. It was as if the planet itself had left us a riddle. The question was no longer if there was a pattern, the evidence was undeniable. The question was, what could possibly be creating it? What force or phenomenon was behind this cosmic signature? The investigation turned to Saturn's most enigmatic feature. All eyes were drawn to a place of mystery and wonder. The hexagon at the North Pole, a geometric storm that has puzzled scientists for decades, now at the center of a new cosmic mystery. 
Saturn's North Pole hosts the Hexagon, a massive six-sided jet stream unlike anything else in our solar system. This colossal structure wider than two Earths has fascinated scientists for decades. Cassini's images revealed its swirling geometric beauty capturing the sharp edges and hypnotic rotation of this mysterious storm. But the AI's reanalysis uncovered something new, intricate, repeating fractal patterns woven deep within the hexagon's clouds, patterns invisible to the naked eye. Fractals repeat at every scale, like the branching of snowflakes, the jagged lines of coastlines or the veins in leaves. Nature is full of them, but these fractals were unnervingly perfect, displaying a mathematical complexity and symmetry that defied all our atmospheric models and expectations. Natural weather is messy and unpredictable, yet here the patterns were precise, nested and almost digital in their order, as if crafted by design. How could a chaotic storm produce such order? The question haunted the team, challenging everything they thought they knew about planetary weather. The fractals were most prominent at the hexagon's corners, as if something was stabilizing the storm from within, anchoring its shape with invisible hands. Simulations failed to reproduce these patterns, no matter how advanced or detailed the models became. No known natural process could explain them. The mystery only deepened as more data poured in. The team considered a radical idea, maybe the storm wasn't creating the patterns, maybe somehow, the patterns were creating the storm itself. This possibility sent them deeper into the archives, searching for overlooked clues in years of mission data. They searched for other clues, other impossible geometries, hidden signatures that might reveal a larger pattern at work. The evidence pointed to something deliberate, as if the hexagon was engineered rather than formed by chance. The hexagon was more than a weather system, it was a signature, an intentional mark, and it wasn't alone. The team looked back to Voyager 1's 1980 flyby of Saturn. Voyager detected a strange periodic radio signal, Saturn Kilometric Radiation, SKR. The signal's timing drifted, puzzling scientists for decades. It was thought to be caused by plasma variations but the explanation never fit. Now, with AI and the fractal discovery, the team reanalyzed Voyager's data. The AI compared the drifting SKR with Cassini's final signal. The result? A clear correlation. Cassini's final pulse was a higher fidelity version of Voyager's signal. The drifting wasn't random, it was a complex rhythm, persistent for at least 37 years. Cassini, by diving into the source, captured the signal in its pure form. The evidence was mounting, something with a repeating signature was operating within Saturn's atmosphere, and it had been there for a very long time. The mystery deepened. What did Cassini actually hear? Its magnetometer and plasma wave instruments picked up a rhythmic coded pulse, a heartbeat. The signal was a sequence of bursts and pauses repeating in a complex cycle. It was neither simple nor chaotic but structured, rich with data. The AI found the pulse was mathematically linked to the fractal patterns in the hexagon. The timing of the pulses matched the geometric spacing of the fractals. It was as if the signal was a broadcast and the fractals were the antenna. The connection was too precise to be coincidence. The signal originated deep within Saturn's clouds at immense pressure. It subtly influenced the planet's magnetic field and left a visible imprint on the hexagon. What could generate such a signal? The answer lay deeper still. The team proposed a radical theory, a massive, hidden structure within Saturn's atmosphere, a sub-atmospheric lattice. Not a solid object but a vast interconnected web, an energy field or advanced technology woven into Saturn's clouds. This lattice would generate both the signal and the fractals, stabilizing the hexagon and broadcasting the coded pulses. It would be nearly invisible, detectable only by its influence on the environment. We weren't seeing the object itself, but its shadow, its footprint on Saturn. The evidence fit. We'd been misinterpreting technology as weather. If there's a massive cloaked lattice inside Saturn who or what built it, this isn't just evidence of life, it's evidence of intelligence and perhaps something ancient. The fractals, the signal, the mathematical links, they point to something deliberate. Could it be an energy harvesting system, a planet-sized computer, or a form of consciousness? The discovery changes our perspective on the cosmos. We may have overlooked advanced intelligence in our own solar system. Life might not be biological, it could be a storm, a pulse, a pattern. Cassini's final gift was a key to a new mystery. Future missions will seek to map and understand this lattice. Saturn now hangs in our sky as a vessel of profound mystery, reminding us to keep looking up.